Hey Air Signs and welcome to your Tarot Love Reading. We are going to take a look at the messages that are coming in for you in relation to love and romance. In particular for those of you that are wanting to hear from someone. So we're actually going to take a look and see if your romantic interest, your crush, your special someone, your sweetheart will be reaching out to you. If they will communicate to you and if so when and what is it that, might, that they might say. Um, so I guess this is for those of you that do have... A romantic interest in mind and you know if there has been some sort of disconnection between the two of you or this or if this person has distanced themselves away from you or if they've pulled away or if they've ghosted you and you want to know whether or not you know you will hear from them again or if there's a chance to recover what was once lost we'll take a look and see what messages come in for you here so just once again the messages here are intended for all air signs so that's gemini libra aquarius that's ascendant sun moon venus rising and um of course you know to those of you that are cross watching as well so let's take Let's go ahead and take a look at the messages here. Okay, we have the Knight of Cups, the Three of Wands and the Four of Wands for the top row, the Wheel of Fortune, the Sun card, wow, and the Judgment. Oh, wow, look at that. You've got beautiful cards. The Nine of Swords, spoke to soon, the Tower, and the Seven of Swords. Okay, this is a very interesting combination of cards. Um, this is an intricate relationship. This is an intricate connection that um, you're involved in. I can see this isn't this isn't just black and white. Look, there's patches of gray areas and a lot of them here. Okay, first and foremost, the Four of Wands here. You know, this is... To me, this is a very strong energy of a reunion, of reuniting with someone, like embracing their energy, embracing them in your arms, embracing that the fact that this person is stepping back into your life or you will be hearing from this person. It's a feeling of home. And for a lot of you, this is what the individual feels like, home. This is someone who might feel like maybe you've had plans to get married um, or get engaged with. Or this is someone who might feel like maybe you, you know, you saw them in your future. Okay, you saw them in your future. You were building or planning to um, share a future together or vice versa here. Okay, so it's a very strong, um, a very strong, pow a very powerful connection here. Air energy, very powerful here. And I feel like this is why it may even hurt you even more because I feel like you are in love with this person or you were in the process or you maybe you are in the process of falling in love with this person. The Knight of Cups now, all knights are messengers, okay? But the fact that the Knight of Cups in particular, unlike the Knight of Pentacles who's stationed and unlike the Knight of Swords who's, you know, leaping in midair, the Knight of Cups is someone who is making a very slow and graceful movement towards his uh, point of attraction here. Point of attraction being you. So I feel like the energy... Whilst it may not necessarily be surrounding you physically, I feel like this person is thinking about you. You are in their thoughts. And yes, I do feel like they are, um, they will be reaching out to you. Because notice the Knight of Cups, you know, he's, I feel like he's, it's, the Three of Wands tells me that there is something here. It's like a wandering kind of energy. Maybe this person is lost and they're not necessarily sure how to proceed, okay? Maybe there's been something here that's torn the two of you apart, especially with the Tower. Some of you have had some sort of, like, strong like a fallout or a collapse, a breakup, a disagreement, or this person might have ghosted you here. I get that there's something to do with their soul or their energy or their inner being that to me feels like they're aimlessly wandering in their desert. They're trying to find their, their direction or they're trying to find out what's the best way um, to push forward from here. You feel like home to this individual and I feel like this individual will be returning back home is what I'm getting, but I feel like they need to do some wondering until then okay this person is thinking about you they're also thinking about the future for some of you this is long distance i'm getting a lot of travel i feel like this person will you might even end up seeing this individual here for some of you um what i'm getting is either this person is from somewhere where it's very hot like very hot very humid um or very like mediterranean uh weather um, so they may be, may have born there, may, may have been born there, they may, their parents may have been born there, or I feel like some of you will be traveling um, to meet this person in, in a country, in like an island, or just, or during the summer here, you might reconnect with this person during the summer. I'm just getting a lot of humidity or heat with this card, so, and some of you, I feel like you might have plans, and you might not have those plans in motion yet, so some of you may be thinking, yeah, that's not happening until it actually happens for you. 
um, but yeah, for some of you, I feel like you're going to meet this person on an on an island or a little bit of a, it feels like a getaway. It feels very intimate, exclusive, where, where it's just you and this person and it's just you and this person trying to work through things, okay? Um, yeah, with the Four of Wands, I'm seeing that there is a lot of attractions, a lot of passion, there is love or um, there's this intense, powerful connection, as I've mentioned, but it's very complicated. Why? Okay. I feel like there is simplicity to it, but for one reason or another, someone here chooses to complicate things. Um, or maybe it's, you know, the element of distance. Some of you are doing long distance relationships, right? And maybe it's the distance that is complicating things for you here. Now, with the Wheel of Fortune, um, for those of you that are, you know, you're, and I feel like um, a lot of you are in this position, else why would you be listening to this particular reading? But for those of you who are going through a bit of a funk or an emotionally challenging time with this person, or you're going through some sort of turbulency with this individual, or a breakup, or a division, or just something really rough, know that it will turn, okay? Much like the tides, this will turn much like the wheel here, okay? Whenever you're on top, okay you never really stay there right things change much like anything there's this rhythm like anything in life there's this natural ebb and flow to life's rhythms right and likewise you know when whenever you're, you've hit emotional rock bottom or whenever you're going through this you know really challenging times notice um you know remember that and do do take heart and remember that um you know things can change at any moment okay Something about the Wheel of Fortune feels like this person is your soulmate or is a twin flame or is a soul partner and I feel like you guys are not finished yet. For some of you, you may feel like you're done but deep down inside, I get a sense that there is unfinished business, there are unresolved feelings. Look, it's complicated, okay? And if you can work through this and if you can resolve this, resolve this I feel like, you know, you will get the sun here which is, um, you know, warmth, vibrancy, optimism, um, there is a bright future in it for the two of you, but to get there, I feel like you might have to endure. Um, you might have to endure um, a fair few things in order to get to this vibrancy. There's still a lot of room for the two of you to grow here. Okay, there's a lot of growth that I feel like um, a lot of room for growth as individuals and as partners here. Now, for some of you, I feel like this is someone whom you've recently broken up with, or this is someone whom you've recently parted ways with, or this person has ghosted you. For some of you, I'm getting like, this person has vanished and disappeared, puff, like a puff of smoke and dissipated into the air. For others of you, it's been a slow fade, whilst for some of you listening, it's, it's kind of ugly. I feel like you might have said something you might have regret saying, or he or she might have said something they regret saying, and it's just ended. It ended on a very painful or rather volatile note here. Look, this obviously is threatening your peace of mind, your energy here. You're thinking, okay, notice the dark settings here, okay? The fact that you've, you know, you weren't ready. Judgment, when judgment appears in your tarot spread, it indicates either a beginning or an ending. In this instance, I feel like there is an ending, but um, endings often are showing your beginnings. Nothing really ends it. It begins in a new way. This is someone here staying up at nights. This is someone here not being able to get a good night's rest because they're thinking about a lot of things. They're going over things. Um, you know, the Nine of Swords, there's a sense of repetition with the Nine of Swords and in fact it being, you know, uh, placed just above the wheel. You are turning things. You know, your gears are turning. You're thinking about this person. I feel like this person is thinking about you. And you're also thinking about, you know, where to go from here? What happens from here? Because I, I sense a, a discomfort. I, I sense a very uncomfortable energy here. Okay. Um, this, this is threatening your peace of mind here. I also get the notion of sick, uh, like cyclical behavior or this has been going around in circles. Okay. So I'm getting cycles here. Um, this has been going around in circles. Maybe it's very inconsistent. Maybe the two of you are really on and off again. Like um, everything's good. And then I feel like when things are good, they're great. And when things are not good, they're not so good here. Um, and I feel like it's just, it's it's like a revolving door. It's just like this inconsistency here. And some of you, I feel like maybe you've been wanting to put an end to this inconsistency. But I don't think you were ready to end things with this person. I'm not sure if you were the one that initiated this ending. Um, for some of you, I feel like you weren't necessarily ready. Um, maybe this person has ghosted you before you had a, a chance to explore this connection or before you had a chance to explain yourself here or to really tell them how you feel. Or maybe um, this person has, or maybe you've decided to walk away from this person, you know, due to the whole 
going around in circles um, thing and I feel like some of you are fed up you've want you you've still you've wanted to make this work and I feel like you care deeply for this person but maybe it's more important to prioritize right now your uh, mental health here your sanity at the tower I feel like there was some sort of it's shaking you up but it's also shaking this person up as well just because you don't hear from them don't assume that this person isn't thinking about you or it, it hasn't affected them in a big way it has it's impacted them greatly I feel like it's turned their world upside down um, I feel like this person has really taken it to heart they're not doing too well without you I also feel like they're going through sleepless nights um, I'm feeling like they're not really able to tell their family or their friends um, what's really what really went on because they feel an element of guilt okay there's something here that's keeping them up at night there's something here that obviously is sitting uneasy with them um, and I also feel like this person wasn't honest not that they weren't honest with you I feel like that they weren't honest with themselves or their actions here I'm getting this sense of it's like they tried to pin something on you, but at the same time, they were guilty of doing it as well. And there's a dishonesty in that as well, right? Um, maybe you caught this person. For some of you, I feel like maybe you caught this person out in a lie. Maybe you caught them in an act. Maybe, um, you know, they were trying, they were hoping and trying to get away with something that they shouldn't be doing, as indicated by, you know, that sly smirk that stretches across his face here. He's clearly trying to tiptoe out of, out of there, you know, so he's not heard um, being trying to whisk away these swords um and he's clearly looking around swiveling his head hoping to you know um not see any eyewitnesses around so there is some sort of dishonesty here for you guys sad to say uh, either this person was dishonest with their emotions or they were dishonest with their words or their actions and i feel like some of you have caught this person in the act or because it's your energy perhaps there, there's a dishonesty with you perhaps you feel like you know you're an air energy so air energy is like to really try and um, process things logically you're really trying to intellectualize your emotions let's go ahead and see what um, the messages are maybe instead of trying to intellectualize your emotions allow just feel them even if they hurt you feel them okay so let's see what um, what advice is coming in for you here okay you've got the nine of cups and the Emperor here okay I feel like you're dealing with someone very stubborn okay first and foremost you're dealing with someone stubborn and i feel like they're very stuck in their ways okay i'm also seeing that this is again there's a sense of repetition so i feel like guys you've been here before right um you've been here before though something about this feels different something about this feels different and i feel like i'm not sure if it's due it's that's due to their energy or that's due to your energy here with the nine of cups i still feel like you're wishing for to hear from them you're wishing for them to reach out, you're wishing for them to respond, or you're wishing for them to communicate with you here. Be careful what you wish for, because I feel like you might get it, because it's a law of attraction tarot card of the deck. But do you want to go back to this? Do you really want to go back to, you know, uh, square one and where you were? I feel like, to me, the message, the advice here is to, you need to either set up some really firm boundaries so that they don't overstep those boundaries, so they don't disrespect your boundaries, or I feel like someone here needs to loosen up because there's a sense of rigidity that comes with the emperor here, right? Um, someone here is very stubborn in their ways and something's got to give. In order for this connection to flourish, something's got to give. Like, for example, if you two are very different, like if you're polar opposites personality, you have to understand, you have to find a way in which your energies can truly complement one another, okay? In which your energies can truly come together and cooperate with one another, because that's what I'm seeing here. In order for this to really work, in order for this to become, you know, the connection that you want it to be, the two of you need to cooperate, not one more than the other, the both of you need to cooperate. There you have it, Air Energies. That is your reading. Thank you guys for watching, listening. Please show your support by subscribing to the channel, liking, sharing. Um, if you are interested in personalized tarot reading, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will be sharing with you more tarot love readings throughout the week. Stay tuned. Bye for now.